Secretary of State, and uh, thanks a lot, Mark. Yeah. This is his second time through the area, because he was here, what, about a month ago? Uh, about, yeah. Because he, he rode 5,000 miles around to cover all the county, cover, cover yeah. all the counties in the state. And Constantino on rode with bike. him for about 3,000 3, of those. On his bike. On his bike, yeah. That means that he can run around at the Capitol. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you all for coming out here on an early Saturday morning. I know there's a lot, maybe college football or something else that you would rather be doing today than listening to a bunch of wannabe politicians blowing hot air, right? No. But here's the deal. <clears throat> California is about ready to go through a major political tide change. Yes. <laughs> Judge Bailey just covered several of those points, and I want to add on to what he is saying. Because if less we understand what is going on in the state of California, we're not going to be ready to go communicate that to our friends and family. Right now, the California Democrat legislature is a beached whale. <laughs> they have out swam their support. Okay. They, with their liberal policies, have gone so far that 45% of California Democrats do not like the direction the state is going. 45% of California Democrats are disenfranchised and they're the party in power. We're talking to Democrat leaders and they don't want to talk about the mess that Jerry Brown has done. They want to talk about Donald Trump. <laughs> when you have conversations with your Democrats in the state of California, don't let them talk about Donald Trump. Make them justify the policies that are coming out of Sacramento. Because they don't like the sanctuary state. They don't like this draw ban. They don't like the government telling them what their kids can drink in a Happy Meal. <laughs> we got a problem in the state of California. And the legislature has gone so far that they are beached whale and they don't know how to undo the problem which it creates an opportunity for conservatives, for constitutionalists, this year. This is not an opportunity two years from now. This is for now. This is for the next 59 days. And with the repeal of the gas tax, that is bringing out a group of voters who normally would stay home because it's not a presidential election, because they want to go and vote and take $800 back of that Sacramento has taken away and put into their pet projects. That $800 was their Christmas for their kids. That $800 was their vacation that they cannot take. And they have the opportunity to go take that money back. And we are seeing that there is a large number of people who normally would have stayed home who are coming out to vote. How do we know this? Well, the repeal of the gas tax is phase two. When they, when the Democrats passed the legislature, Senate District 29 went after, after Josh Newman, the state senator who was a tiebreaker vote. They recalled him. And what we saw is that two years ago in that district, the combined Democrat vote was 56 points. But when they recalled him, the combined Democrat vote was only 40 points. That is a 16 point swing in the district. If you have a 16 point swing in the district, I win your Secretary of State by double digits. They are calling my race at 815. That's what a 16 point difference does in this state. We will elect a full slate of statewide senators from John Cox to myself, Bailey, Rody, Greg. We will, instead of picking up, or instead of losing congressional seats, we will pick up five or six congressional seats. This is an opportunity in between the Beach Dwell Democrat leadership and the Prop 6 that gives us an opportunity over the next 59 days to have an impact on the state of California. Now, like any tide changes or any way, uh, waves, you can sit 
on the beach and watch them. <laughs> and in 2010, California watched this red wave stop at the Sierras. <laughs> in 2014, we watched the red wave stop at the Sierras. In 2016, we watched the red wave stop at the Sierras. I'm tired of watching the red wave stop at the Sierras. <laughs> I'd like to see it hit the whole country. And the thing is, there are more liberty-loving Californians than those who want a tyrannical form of government. Mm -hmm. I've ridden my bike to all 58 counties. I've met them. The thing is, all these declined states, they like to say that they're on the winning team. And you know what's going on in this country? Last weekend, I spent three days at the LA County Fair. Three days at the County Fair, talking to people, asking them for their votes. And behind me was a cutout of Donald J. Trump. And I got to see everybody's response as they saw Donald J. Trump. Did they frown? Did they smile? Did they give you the middle finger or did they give you the thumb? <laughs> and there was a whole lot more people who were giving me the thumb than the middle finger. But more importantly than that, 80% of the people who wanted their picture taken with the Donald J. Trump coming out, 80% over three days, over three days, 80% of the people who wanted their picture taken were minorities. <laughs> <laughs> the group of people that they say Republicans are not reaching. Donald J. Trump with his winning strategies, helping unemployment, helping them get their jobs. They want to be a part of the winning team. The people who we couldn't reach are being reached, which is an opportunity for us in 2018 to take that leverage that we got and make sure the wave hits California. Now my name is Mark Moyser. I'm running to be your next Secretary of State. The Secretary of State is the Chief Election Officer of the State of California, which means I'm responsible for fair and honest elections in California. Right now the current Secretary of State is completely incompetent in running elections. This last week we heard about 23,000 people who were mistakenly registered to vote under his watch. And this is not the first time we've had a problem with him. In the last four months, this is the third major headline regarding problems with voter registration in the state of California. California, according to MIT, a study that just came out, has the third worst elections in the United States of America. We can fix this very easily. The laws are already there. It's just a matter of somebody obeying the laws. So I'm running to be your next Secretary of State. My name is Mark Moyser. And with Moisure, you're more sure a fair and honest election. <laughs>